This is a problem a lot of us are having right now. Either you can't get to the mailbox because of all that snow, or the box has been damaged by a plow truck. Yeah, and although we joke that the mail is mostly bills, it's important that you go out there each day and get the mail. News 8's Tina Detell has got your back tonight with answers about who's supposed to pay up if something happens to your mailbox. This has become an all too common scene around the state. Mailboxes knocked right off their posts or dented because of snow and plows. So we wanted to find out who takes care of this. That's what snow does. The casualties of a snowy winter. Actually, the damage is done from the snow hitting the box, not the plow. Ed Adanti says so far his public works crews have replaced as many as 20 mailboxes and repaired about 10. Take all these screws out, put this board back on the pole, and we nail the bottom up. Crews also replace posts, and that means digging through the snow and frozen ground to get the mailboxes back in place. We try to match whatever they have color-wise. We put their names back on them, uh, read stencil the number. They'll even replace fancier and bigger boxes. The resident just has to buy it. The town will reimburse the cost and install the box. The state and most towns will fix any damage done by these big guys, but in old Lyme, they do it. What's next for you guys? We gotta go out and find some more. <laughs> and offer other help without even being asked. Um, we'll go as far as going down the road. If we if we see an elderly person shoveling or something, we'll go in and actually open their driveways up for them to make it easier for them to get out. Oh, wow. You guys go above and beyond. Well, we try to. And now they're on to the next one, keeping these guys busy in between storms. In Old Lyme, Tina Detell, News 8.